Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes, Johannesburg. Today, we are in the beautiful Bedford View area. Now, before we get started on this tour, I'm here with listing agent, Tanya, who's the number one real estate agent for Remax, as well as the architect, Francois Marais, from Francois Marais Architects, one of the leading architecture firms here in South Africa. We are about to take a tour of this gorgeous, timeless, elegant, family home. Now, before we get started, specs on the house. Four bed, four and a half bath, three garages, and is currently asking price 9.7 million. Without further ado, guys. Thank you very much, Xavier. Welcome to this exquisite double story mansion in the heart of Upper Bedford View. Absolute prime position and um, timeless architecture as uh, Xavier rightfully mentioned. It's a beautiful home and um, who better then to give us the lowdown on the architecture and what was behind the thought process when designing this home for our beautiful family. So come on in. Thank you very much uh, Tanya and Xavier. Many years ago when we designed the residence the, the owner had quite a specific request requesting that the entrance of the house and the garages be separated from one another to create a different feel to the way that the residences are designed lately. So usually what happens is your garages are very close to your entrance and he specifically requested in this uh, instance that we separate it so that you've got this visual separation between the two. So the way that we actually achieved that is we created the circular beam configuration which almost hugs the entrance as you arrive. So this area here almost forms like a turning circle or an entrance courtyard. And then from there what we've done is we've uh, recessed the garages further back and by creating this beam that goes over the top it creates a visual separation between your entrance area and where your uh, visitors and your your uh, cars would be parked as your homeowners. So coming into the entrance uh, you can see we've got a double volume from the outside with the lights that you can see from the road on the outside already so it, uh, the entrance is beautifully featured from the roadside and uh, as we enter as we love to do in our residences. We love to feature our staircases and also the double volume. And in this particular residence, uh, we have done a staircase. As you can see, the staircase um, actually mimics the top and bottom of the stair together. It creates this beautiful sculptural uh, element in the entrance hall and it becomes the central feature to this entire space. Uh, the way that we have separated the various levels uh, on, the, on the house, uh, as you can see as we enter here on this particular level, um, we have got the study which is on the same level as your entrance, which uh, demarcates that as a more um, uh, intimate or private space. And then from there, we have then steps going up into the balance of the residence. The rest of the residence is all located on one single uh, level. And the way we've positioned the spaces is that the entire residence is made to live out to the outside and there's a visual connection between all of the spaces and the outside. So uh, as we enter on the left hand side, we have got your formal lounge area with a bar which is integrated into the space and central to this area between the dining room and your formal lounge, we have a fireplace in, in, in the center. And as you can see, all of the doors can open up to this area, creating a beautiful visual flow towards the outside. And as we love to do in our architecture, blurring the boundary to the inside and outside of the various spaces so that you actually pull the outside in and the inside out in the end of the, um, in the, end of the design. So moving through the, the residence, we have got a configuration where your kitchen, family and dining room uh, form almost a triangular setup. And moving into our uh, family room, beautiful cozy family room, north facing views, um, beautiful uh, windows facing to the outside. And the way that uh, we, we have done it, the client wanted the visual integration between the spaces. We have uh, included this window here where you can see from the patio into your family room and vice versa from the patio to the outside. And the visual integration makes the residence feel very large, open and integrated with one another. Um, the way that uh, we have planned the kitchen uh, is that the kitchen is slightly more separate from the rest of the residence as opposed to your conventional full open plan 
um, a view and it has a, a window which faces between the in and outside uh, where one can then serve, serve that area as well as keep a visual connection between the children and yourself or uh, the kitchen and your family room. Beautifully uh, integrated uh, kitchen, very nice uh, spacious kitchen, a very long linear uh, kitchen configuration and uh, what we've done in this uh, particular uh, kitchen is we added on a separate breakfast area rather than having an island configuration with your uh, chairs, uh, uh, chairs around the island. We have, um, we have got a completely separate breakfast area and the breakfast area has got windows that face out to the outside. It lets the light in beautifully in the morning and in the day and it can then be used as formal or informal dining um, within the area. Um, we've got a beautiful um, scullery which is uh, just located behind yourself then and uh, I think Tanya can tell us a little bit more about the kitchen. Perfect. Okay, so um, Centre Island which is lovely for food preparation and uh, as uh, Francois said uh, a nice uh, visual onto your family lounge where you may be entertaining your guests or your family. You've got double integrated ovens, you've got a gas hob, electrical, lots of um, different integrated appliances. You have a blender um, in this section here. You've got a gas griller, sorry, a griller and a heat fryer there as well. So in addition to that and um, prep bowl area here for your preparation of food, you've got the most amazing walk-in cold room together with a freezer at the end. So this is fantastic. Such a big home, you do need lots of space for fridges, so that is an absolute great solution. And once again, on this side here, you've got a lovely walk-in pantry cupboard um, for all your grocery stuff. So moving back uh, into our entrance lobby area, so here one gets the visual integration of the staircase as a sculptural element within the center of the residence. And you can see all of the spaces uh, look onto this and it becomes a very successful feature in the center of the home as a central pivot idea within the, the design of the residence and also working as just integrating the spaces. And also um, with it being such a dynamic element, um, it's, it's something that one almost wants to move up and down um, between the various areas. As we arrive on the landing, you can see how uh, broad we've made the, uh, the passages and walkways in this area. It creates a very beautiful, uh, opulent feel in this uh, particular area. And uh, the client has uh, quite a few paintings, so we've actually designed a recess for a particular painting which he has got uh, on display in his entrance here. And uh, just from a security point of view, uh, something which we have done in this area here is there are vertical shutters that shut down so it can actually shut down the entire ground floor from the top so uh, nobody can get up the stairs once we enter into this area and uh, it forms a very uh, impenetrable uh, barrier in this space. So something that we've done with uh, the design here, we've got three bedrooms leading off of a little lobby area that we've designed here. So this lobby area can then be used as a pajama lounge, it can be used as a study area, or it can just be used as an area um, that can you can distribute the, the spaces and move to the different rooms. Uh, so we've got three bedrooms that are, are very closely situated off of this area. And by creating this effectively, we've uh, negated the use of a passage. So the passage has disappeared um, as a result of the way that we have uh, done the layout in this particular area. So this is one of the bedrooms. All of the bedrooms have got full ensuite bathrooms and all of the bedrooms have got access onto uh, the balcony or patio to the outside. So if I may come in here please Francois, um, quite important to note that the home is actually 20 years old, believe it or not. So not only did the architecture hold its currency, uh, so to speak, but Francois was so forward thinking as an architect in those days to already design all the bedrooms en suite and to actually introduce a pajama lounge, which is something that has only occurred over the last uh, few years. It was something um, that, you know, it's a new concept that's only just come to the forefront uh, now. So that was quite um, nice, good forward thinking, Francois. Well done. Uh, thank you very much. 
I think something in our industry which is very important is always to try and be ahead of the pack, uh, think about things that other people will not be thinking about now or doing things that uh, make you, uh, you know, think out of the box and, and create something that becomes timeless, elegant and uh, can stand the test of time with, uh, with design. So once again, this bedroom all en suite, um, nice big uh, full bathroom uh, plus your bedroom and uh, as we mentioned, all of the bedrooms having uh, access uh, to the outside on little patio areas, all of the bedrooms uh, overlooking the main um, uh, swimming pool and entertainment area. And uh, so it, it creates a very beautiful feel where everything looks out onto your swimming pool, your garden area, and uh, this area then as your central, central focus. Moving to the main bedroom, uh, something that we particularly like to do is to do a wider door into the main bedroom. So it could either be a pivot door um, or just a very large door as we have in this uh, particular situation. The bedroom, very nice and spacious. Um, we've actually cut the corner in this area here just to give you a better visual as you enter into, into the bedroom area with a nice um, uh, seating area in the lounge or in, as a lounge. Uh, with stacking doors uh, that open on both sides so that one can actually access the, uh, the patio from this particular area. So off of the main bedroom, uh, we've got then access to your uh, bathroom and then also to your dressing rooms. So a um, very nice uh, spacious uh, dressing room with uh, his and hers type of configuration off of a little lobby uh, as you enter. We then have your, your bathroom, a very spacious uh, bathroom, nice big shower, corner bath configuration, um, nice big windows uh, to, to light up the residence in, um, yeah, yeah, and the bathroom. Um, now you can get a, a nice view of the lounge area that we've situated in the corner here. So it creates a nice little retreat from the rest of the house so that you can have your own space and your own lounge within your bedroom with a beautiful, spacious uh, main bedroom. Then uh, moving towards the, the outside here, you can see from here um, the access that we have onto the, the, the balcony area here. All of the bedrooms uh, join uh, onto one central area where one can then sit in this area if, if you want and uh, beautiful views from here down onto your swimming pool and your entertainment area and your garden. Let's go have a look downstairs. Perfect. In uh, moving downstairs and down the, the stairs, um, with the wedge shape of the stairs actually following the curve, it actually creates a very easy transitionable stair. Um, if one walks on the outside of the stairs, the stairs are actually very large and it creates a very comfortable and easy walk towards the, um, the downstairs or upstairs. So just in, uh, uh, you know, in keeping with the, the, the Francois Marie style, if you want, is this uh, integration of space from inside to outside. We love breaking down the boundaries from the in to the outside. Um, it, even the level from the inside to the outside is on one level, um, so that when one moves between the spaces, uh, you know, the space is completely integrated. Um, we've got a very large, lovely uh, size uh, entertainer's patio where we've got a full lounge area on the one side. We have a dining room configuration on the other and we still have enough space there for your braai plus your, um, your uh, cub cupboards, uh, cupboards and cabinetry with your prep bowl, etc. And then in the design of the shape of the, of the patio, we actually extended out following the curves that we introduced um, at the entrance and also uh, on your staircase. Um, we've extended this uh, the curve to the outside. Uh, what it does is that if the weather is bad, 
um, one does not get rain that penetrates onto your patio, um, into the seating areas. And then with the integration of the space with the uh, stairs coming down into this area, it forms a beautiful um, entertainment area where the swimming pool actually becomes integrated with the house. And uh, the way that we have planned it is that with all of your um, lounges, we've positioned them away from the residence so that um, the swimming pool becomes almost a central feature to this external area. And uh, when one sits in this area, you actually get the beautiful view of your house looking back from here at, at the house. Um, and then uh, the, just here you can just see the curves, the, uh, the same curved beams that we introduced at the front entrance just to keep the language consistent. We have uh, brought those beams in on this side as well and it creates various uh, picture frames um, to various areas from, um, from, from this particular view. Okay, so in terms of the additional features in the uh, home, starting off with the garden, there is a borehole irrigation system in the garden. Um, you have beautiful rolling lawns, so lovely for children to play. Um, you've got a stunning little boma area in the corner, which is wonderful for those cozy winter evenings where you want to sit around a log fire at night. Um, also very important to mention, the homeowner has um, just recently redone the kitchen. He's upgraded the kitchen with brand new high glass cabinetry uh, cupboards all around. He's redone the outdoor pool area with a beautiful, very modern, light grey tile. Um, upstairs on the flooring, he's installed brand new flooring. So the home is really in immaculate condition, ready to move into, um, and honestly, uh, an excellent uh, buy at this stage. Other features in the home, of course, security-wise, everything that you need. And of course, um, the other thing to mention is your fully integrated air conditioner systems in the home, upstairs and downstairs, ducted aircon, and you've got your surround music system. In addition to that, and lastly, staff accommodation, as well as uh, ample parking for all your visitors. So really a stunning, stunning home. Just to recap, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, plus a study, beautiful open plan entertainment area, and everything that your heart may desire. And of course, um, thank you very much to Francois-Marie from FM Architects. And if you are looking for a top architect to design your dream home, then absolutely Francois is your man. Tanya, thank you so much. I couldn't have said it better. Thank you so much, guys, for taking us on a tour of this gorgeous home. Any questions, whether it be for Francois or for Tanya, make sure to reach out. Their details will be below this video. Awesome. Thank you guys for your time and have an awesome afternoon.